All right, so this ends up being part two, or the sequel, which was certainly not intended to be created, but uh, there were some additional developments that popped up. And so we've got the situation where the city of Plymouth, their own city workers, put all this grass in the street, literally right next to the lake, literally within not, you know, more than 30 feet away from the lake, they have filled the gutter full of grass that they've cut. So what I did was try to do the diplomatic thing and try to call the city. It was 3.12 in the afternoon, and I was told that uh, due to budget cuts, there was nobody available that could even take my call or that could answer me any questions or to find uh, you know, what could be done to resolve this problem. When I described to them the fact that this would be a uh, serious problem, the fact that within uh, a matter of hours we're supposed to get potentially as much as an inch of rain and all the grass would be into the, to the lake, um, there was absolutely no concern whatsoever, basically. Um, and so I had asked to speak to um, the person that I think is probably the highest in charge. He had no, um, uh, I was not able to reach him, we got a voicemail. Contact back, went to the engineering department, talked to them. They again didn't have any concern about this whatsoever. And um, so uh, then it was um, probably another hour had passed and I was able to reach somebody. Created uh, what I thought was some uh, uh, interest in it. And eventually there was actually a public service officer that came out. I happened to see him on the road. I stopped him, got his attention. And um, I will be quite honest with you, he, I think he took it as a joke. Um, he actually drove off and laughed, <laughs> and uh, uh, he was probably at about 4.30 in the afternoon, and it was quite uh, quite frustrating to see that. In fact, I would say downright disrespectful and disappointing. So anyway, um, then I actually did make a little more waves. I did speak with, uh, again, the person I think is probably the highest uh, ranking person on this matter. He gave me the number to the... What I guess was the crew chief, uh, but I do want to identify the fact that if I think back to over these last seven years, and more specifically over the last five years, I can tell you that I have written letters, I have made phone calls, I have um, written you know actual letters with a stamp on it, I have sent lots of emails, I've sent pictures, I have spoken to my council person. I know who the mayor is, we've had other discussions, I've had conversations with her about it. Um, so I have taken this thing as far as I possibly can, and not only once, not twice, but numerous times over the years. And when I spoke with the person earlier, I just said that, you know, um, if I'm going to be the one that goes out there and cleans the street tonight, based on the fact that only hours earlier a city worker chose to put this in the street and despite the fact that the mayor the council people the e e environmental quality committee which i have spoke to at the council meeting uh, that's a good point i did get a chance to stand up in front of the entire council and speak about this and if nobody if none of those people could get this thing resolved well, I finally found um, a very nice police officer that gave me a hand on this particular night, and I'm very grateful that he did that. However, um, I just will say that uh, despite the fact that I have made calls, emails, letters, spoke at the council chambers, never have I ever seen any change in this matters, despite the fact that this great city that I live in truly is a great city, spends what would I believe would be thousands of dollars per year trying to communicate with people not to put their little, little grass clippings in the street, on their driveway, or in the curb, and the city workers literally put um, piles and piles and piles. So again, this is Bruce, and I am uh, taking this opportunity to communicate with you a serious problem that we've got in following directions within the city of Plymouth. Thank you.